Blue what lead? No, it's uh, look, it's it, a few teething problems, but um, we addressed it on Monday night. Uh, probably did a lot better than what I expected, to be honest, um, with the two sides that were put on the floor. So credit to uh, all the young fellas. They, they did an outstanding job and hopefully uh, can back it up again this Friday because uh, Ballarat's going to be a lot more challenging than what the Northwest Thunder were. Yeah, with them. I mean, what was the positives out of uh, the game for you? Oh, just the just to see those young boys after 18 months of training through in the gym and on the court to be given the opportunity to go out there and in front of a, a full capacity house as far as uh, with the COVID restrictions, it was just great to see. And I thought um, kids like Elijah Pawson and and uh, Ambrose and Noah Stratzma, all those guys that haven't played much or at all in the past we were given a really good opportunity to show, showcase some skills and uh, it went down to the wire. We, we had every opportunity to win it but um, didn't come away and that's probably one of the learning experiences that we'll get this year is uh, close games and how we close those out. What do you need to work on? Oh, uh, rebounding. Without a doubt, uh, Ballarat are bringing in, they're probably one of my top four picks uh, to win the championship. They've got Denga Kuth, 6'11", Sudanese boy that just crashes the boards, uh, can knock down the three, um, is, has played some NBL, so uh, young Will Hickey that's athletic at the point guard position, they've got Matt Kenyon that's played with the Institute of Sport and, and played some NBL as well, so they, uh, their list is pretty deep um, and it's going to be a, a lot more challenging this, uh, this Friday than it was last Saturday. A little bit firing at times of the game? Yeah, it was good. I mean, uh, once one player got a, a little bit, a few bumps, then uh, the rest of the the rest of the boys would ride in there backing them up. So look, I couldn't be prouder of the way they played, and and if they can continue to bring that every week, um, the next few years are going to be very promising for for us. And you're pretty happy with Jonathan's uh, first game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look, uh, probably over uh, expectations as far as what I thought he'd deliver. Um, if we can complement him with a couple of guys later in the year, um, yeah, we're going to be very tough. But uh, there's no use doing that if we can't get some wins. So uh, it's going to be a tough half, first half of the year, and we've just got to keep fighting and see see if we can get some results. Side so Dean's side by the Jack Jumpers last week. What did you make of his performance? Oh, I thought he was solid. Um, didn't really do too much outside what, what I expected. Um, knocked down a couple of jump shots. Uh, probably didn't play as many minutes as I thought he would, um, but I thought our guys did a really good job both ends of the floor on them. Oh, we didn't have Zach or Jack. So, yeah, but you've also got to look at, we lose that game by a couple of points and Zach, Zach White who's probably one of your best players, and Jack Stanwick sitting on the side, and Lockie Boucher was unable to play as well. People didn't realise that. So you're looking at three of your, probably your better players. Uh, so to be in the in front with a few minutes to go was, was promising. When do you get those three So Jack's back this weekend. Uh, he, f he trained fully on Monday. Um, Zach will be uh, back for our first road trip next week. So um, we'll... I haven't penciled this one in Friday, but anything could happen. So we'll give it everything and see where we land.